Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man Deezies. Welcome back to the Conscious Daddy Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list for you today. And as always, if we see any new kanji today, we're going to go over their readings, their meanings, and how to remember them based on the radicals that make up those kanji. If we see a new word, but it's made of kanji we already know, we're just going to go over the meanings of the kanji and how they come together to make our new word. If you don't want to listen to me uh, say things out loud while I write them down over and over, head on over to YouTube and you can skip ahead to the explanation for the words. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive where you can download as you want. First word of the day is Ichibetsu. Ichibetsu with Ichi on the left side for one and Betsu on the right side for parting or separating. Ichibetsu is a single parting, literally translated meaning a parting of something, a a a parting of ways in that in the same way that you would say a parting of ways in English. A parting is a separation or a single separation if literally translated. Ichibetsu is a parting. Ichibetsu desu. Ichibetsu. Ichibetsu desu is a parting. Ichibetsu is a parting. Number two is Ichimoku, or a single eye. In this case, a single look or glance. A single eye or look at something is an Ichimoku. Ichimoku is a look or a glance. It can also mean a single stone in the game of Go. Ichimoku is a single look or glance. Ichimoku. Ichimoku desu. Number three is ichi yo. Yo on the right side for a pattern or way, and ichi on the left side for a single. So this is a single, all following a single pattern or a single way of doing something. Ichi yo is our new adjective for you. I think it's a noun. Ichi yo is probably also a noun for uniformity, equality, evenness, or identicality. Common or ordinary is. Also, something that could be ichiyo, following the normal pattern, following the same single pattern. Ichiyo is uniform, equal, or common, and ordinary. Ichiyo desu. Ichiyo is common, ordinary, or identical, and uniform. Ichiyo. 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 It's common, ordinary, or uniform and equal. Ichiyo desu. Following a single pattern, or the normal single pattern. Number four is an uttai from our kanji for complaining or bringing someone's attention to something comes an uttai, uttai, meaning uh, uttairu is to complain or to, um, you know, bring someone's attention to some complaint that you have. Uttai is our new noun for a complaint also commonly used for a lawsuit. Uttai is a lawsuit or complaint. Uttai this. Uttai is a complaint or a lawsuit. Uttai from our kanji for complaints or bringing someone's attention to something is an uttai, a complaint or lawsuit. Bringing the government's attention to some complaint you have. Uttai is a complaint or a lawsuit. Number five is an utsushi. Utsushi from uh, shashin no sha for a copy of something. Uh, but it can also mean a photograph itself. Comes utsushi, our new noun for a copy, duplicate, or facsimile of something. Utsushi. Sono utsushi wa genhon to atteiru. The copy agrees with the original. Sono utsushi wa utsushi. Utsushi, utsushi. Utsushi, utsushi, sono utsushi, utsushi, utsushi. 
is a copy, duplicate, or facsimile. It's a sheet. It's a copy, duplicate, or facsimile. Let's see. Is a copy, duplicate, or facsimile. Number six is osoku tomo. Osoi on the left side is for late, and tomo on the right side kind of means um, coming together with or coming already. So this is already late enough, aka at the latest is our new adverb for. Uh, Osoku tomo is our new adverb for at the latest. Osoku tomo sono reporto o hapyo shite. At the latest, to. To. Raishu no getsuyobi ni. Osoku tomo. Osoku tomo. Raishu no getsuyobi wa. Getsuyobi ni. Reporto o hapyo shite. Hi, so this uh, kind of make the presentation on the report next Tuesday at the latest. Osoku tomo is at the latest. Osoku tomo. Osoku tomo. Osoku tomo. Osoku tomo. Osoku tomo is at the latest. Osoku tomo is at the latest. Osoku tomo. Osoku tomo is at the latest. Number seven is a kainyu, or an intervention with kai on the left side for jamming in and new on the right side for entry. So this is jamming yourself into some situation or into some, you know, bad situation, an intervention or an intervening, a kai new, Jamming oneself in and entering the situation is intervention. Kai nyu this Kai nyu. Kai nyu is intervention. Kai nyu desu. Ja tsugi wa kakki. Ka on the left side for a brush stroke or a drawing, and ki on the right side for a period of time. So this is a kaki, aka a a uh, single brush stroke of a period, is colloquially meaning transition from one epoch to another. Literally translated, just means brush stroke period, but it means the change of one epoch to another, a change of an era. This is probably going to have to be rote memorization. I don't know how to remember this. It's it seems poetic, right? It's like ka on the left side for the breaststroke and ki on the right side for our period. It's like taking the entire series of 10 years or 20 years or whatever the time period was all in a single breaststroke and kind of um, finishing it up, if you will. Kaki is the transition from one epoch or era to another. Kaki. Is the change or transition of eras. Kaki this. Kaki. Kaki is a transition of eras. Kaki. Number nine is kanre. Kanre is our new noun for a custom or precedent, with kan on the left side being customary or habitual, and re on the right side. For an example, or a, um, uh, what's a, <laughs> an example, a custom, a precedent, right? So kanre is literally a customary precedent or customary example, aka a customer precedent. This one's a pretty Straight translation. Kanre is a custom or precedent. Kanre des is a custom or precedent. Kanre is 
a custom or a president. Precedent. A customary example is a precedent or custom. Comre des con re. Is it custom or precedent? Number 10 is a fun one with ki majime. We all already know majime means um, very ser means serious in itself. And ki on the left side is our new kanji for, well, it's not a new kanji. It means life. So this is serious, like serious like your life depended on it, if you will, is, is kind of how I'm reading this. Ki majime is overly serious or very earnest. Ki majime is serious enough to put to stake one's life on something. Kimajime. Ki on the left side for life. <sighs> Met at the end for I and Maji in the center, kind of for um, having a true or earnest face. So this is kind of facing with a true and earnest I, if you will. So Kimajime. is overly serious. So serious that you're staking your life on something. Kimajime. Kimajime is overly serious or very earnest. Kimajime desu. Kimajime is very serious or overly serious. Number 11 is kekkin. Ketsu on the left side for a lack or gap, and kin on the right side for diligence, but is often used in a lot of words relating to work and employment. So kekkin is a lap or gap in your diligence, specifically at work. An absence from work is a kekkin. Kekkin, a gap or absence from work. Kekkin desu. is a gap or lack of diligence specifically in the work arena kekkin is an absence from work kekkin des kekkin and finally, number 12 is ya nushi. This is a synonym for oya, a landlord or a landlady, a house owner or head of the household. This one's a pretty straight translation. Ye on the left side, or ya is for a house or home, and nushi on the right side is for our master of that home. The ya nushi is therefore the landlord, landlady, or the house owner. Ya nushi is the master of the house, aka the house owner. Ya nushi. Is the head of the household, the owner of the household, or the landlady or landlord. Yanushi. 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 Is the landlord or owner of a house. Good. Let's hope we put some good pins in our brain for where these memorizations are eventually going to go. Make sure you're making flashcards and immersing yourself in Japanese to try and get the most out of your studying. Our first word for the day is a parting with ichi betsu or a single parting, literally translated. Ichi betsu is a parting. A single look or a glance is ichi moku with one eye, literally translated. Uniform, equal, or even an identical is ichi yo, all following the same pattern or way. Ichi yo can also mean ordinary or following the most common pattern. A lawsuit or a complaint is an utae from our kanji and verb utaeru, meaning to lodge a complaint or bring something to someone's attention. A copy, duplicate, or facsimile is an utsushi. Utsushi 
is a copy or facsimile from Shashino Sha. Uh, at the latest is Osoku Tomo Osoi on the left side for late, and Tomo on the right side, kind of meaning I have trouble literally translating particles, but Osoku Tomo, Osoku Tomo, Osoku Tomo, Nani Kana Tomo. It almost feels like if it's coming late. Osoku Tomo, if it's coming late, it has to be this time. Osoku Tomo is our new uh, adverb for at the latest. An intervention is a kainyu. Shokai no. Shokai. Jiko shokai. Shokai. Hi. Shokai no kai plus nyu for an entry is a kainyu or an intervention. A transition from one epoch to another or a change of era is a kaki, aka taking the era all in one brushstroke and starting a no one, a new one. Kaki is the end of one era and the start of a new one. A custom or a precedent is a kanre. Kan on the left side for a customary or habitual thing, and re on the right side for an example is a kanre, a customary example, aka a precedent. Over serious or very earnest is our new adjective. Ki majime. Ki on the left side for life. Ma next to that for truth. Eto ji in the center for a face. And ne on the Finally, for an I, kimajime is overly serious, so serious that you'd stake your life on something. Absence from work is kekin, ketsu on the left side for a lack or gap, and kin on the right side for diligence, in this case, diligence in the work sphere. And finally, a landlord or landlady, aka the owner of a house, is the ya nushi, ya on the left side for a house, and nushi on the right side for our master of it, ya nushi. The master of a house. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had a good Thursday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Um, I don't know if you can tell. The way I'm picking out new words is I'm scrolling through the dictionary at random and finding them in the list of JLPTN one words. If my SRS refuses to give me new ones, even though I'm pretty much caught up on my review. So if it looks a little bit like this tomorrow as well with kind of words that come next to each other in the dictionary, that might happen. Thanks for watching. どうもありがとうございました。